CRS day two here at the Omni Hotel. We are celebrating so many amazing artists and their music. This crew was busy. Dallas Remington is our OG. We love having her here on the backstage pass. When I say busy, she plays seven instruments. She's been blowing up on TikTok. What was it? 12, 13. I'm sorry. 13 singles last year. Uh, I know I tuned in on a lot of them, a lot of the videos you've been putting out. So funny. Everything's just been literally blowing up. How do, you, how do you do that? How do you do 13 songs? It was a lot. I didn't, I didn't sleep a lot last year. Um, you know, and I think my publicist, Bev, wanted to bring my hod a lot because I'd be like, oh, by the way, here's the assets. These come out next week. And she's like, we have another single coming out. But, you know, we just went through and I was looking at all the songs I'd written. And I was just like, you know, we could sit here and we can wait for a deal. We can wait for someone to tell us what to do or we can just release the song we're proud of. Yeah. And so I have an amazing producer, Mr. Corey Lawson, and he was on board and every four weeks. And then in February last year, we did two singles. So, you know, we just we went for it. And we had a good time with it. And it was funny, though, because I did this because I had so many songs saved up. Half the songs we released last year, I ended up writing last year. Because I found myself more as an artist through being in the studio so much and being on promoting the songs and realizing what I wanted to say, you know. Yeah. So we wrote all of those, uh, half of them last year, and you know, and then we did the couple covers, which was fun. I'm so happy to hear that you that you said that because I really do feel like you've touched on some areas in music that people <laughs> have not, and, and it clearly showed. Like people's ears perked up and they're starting to gravitate, finding your social media platforms. We've done the hunting thing, like we know you're a hunter. But then you kind of went into what, like, steal your dad, like some fun <laughs> yeah. stuff. Like, talk, talk yeah. about that. Well, I just went into it wanting to, I finally, like, saying finding my voice, I realized, you know, I have a lot of fun writing songs. And, like, I love. And like, sassy's fun. And like, sassy, sassy is fun. And, like, I can sit there and I can write the tearjerker, what they call the song of the years here in Nashville all day long. But I don't have fun right now because you have to get in that sad place and be all like, oh, this man did me wrong or whatever. And I'm just like, why don't we just be sassy towards him and do it completely different and just have some fun with it, you know? And um, so we, um, you and know, you like especially. All the time. Yeah. So you're such a bad one live show. Exactly. And that's what, you know, so many people keep saying, like, you need more of those slow songs. And if you realize, I probably have 500 slow songs. But when I'm on stage, this is what hits. You know, what is the fun? You don't want to go to a show and be at a bar and start crying in your beer. You know, one time is okay. It's that I'm not going to play all. You know, um, but yeah, I just wanted to write fun music and like, let's do your dad. It's literally something I said. I did not say it to her. I said I wish I would have said it to her, but I didn't. Well, technically, and, you, you have now because the song. Yeah, I don't know if she's ever heard it. I, I highly doubt it. Um, but you know, um, but and it wasn't even that big. Songwriting, you know, yeah, yeah. you make your stories, and so um, it was just so funny though. And I was like, maybe that's a song, so I started writing it by myself and took it to two of my best friends the next day. And I said, someone tell me this is too stupid to write, and they were like, absolutely not. Like, let's no, let's it. do it. And that night, the first video started going viral over it. So you know, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Huh? Yes. When I first moved to town, you know, it's kind of like the keys of the city thing. You have to get permission, and nowadays with all the opportunities, you just put it out. Just as many, exactly. You don't have to wait for anyone, and that's my whole thing. Is I was like, I can sit here on these songs and hold them, but okay, say we do get a deal, those probably they're gonna pitch me songs. Yeah. They're gonna want yeah. me cutting other people's songs. They're gonna want this. So while I'm proud of them and they're the songs that I love and they're my babies, I'm gonna put them out. Yeah. Yeah. And it's tough to not be changed. A lot mm -hmm. of people have their opinions exactly. on who you are. No one's ever gonna hold that better than you. I know an artist and a writer. I had a lot of people come to my song, but when I write something that's intimate to me, fans connect with it. Exactly, they, exactly. You know, they, just the way we deliver. Exactly, exactly. Talk about Gone with the Wind, your current single that came out. Just the backstory behind that. So, Gone with the Wind is actually, it is a slow song. Um, it is one of the only slow songs we put out last year. It's very, very, very close to my heart. Um, I'm actually from Mayfield, Kentucky, originally, and Mayfield was... Um, 
pretty it's become pretty well known because we were destroyed by a tornado um this whole city was wiped out in december of 2021 um and so i wanted to write a song for my own healing but to help with the healing of the town but also just to tell show the world that we're gonna be going through this forever you know walk i don't live there anymore but when i do go home you know it's like a completely it's new every time i see it the city is the school i grew up going to the courthouse i used to perform at during the summers on the stairs they're gone and that's something we're going to be struggling through and fighting through for years to come. And so I wrote um, Gone with the Wind with my friend Cindy and Nance, or Cindy and Travis. And I was just like, they were, they sat me down actually and said, have you written your song about the tornado yet? And I said, I haven't. And they're like, we have some ideas. Like, and they hadn't even talked about it, but both of them were on the same way. Like, that one and, uh, we ended up writing, this was on a writing retreat and we wrote that song in you know, an hour or two, wow. and it just, it helped me heal so much, and I'm hoping it will help my hometown heal, but also just show the world what we're facing, and we'll be facing for years from now. Yes, Yes. And uh, like, I literally, I was a uh, high school teacher in school, mm-hmm. and I mean, her mom just got leveled three times. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we, it's crazy, and I know that Tornado Alley just feels like it's kind of shifting, because every year we have one. Um, this was just the worst one we've had, and we, where my family farm is, I guess we're just, Build just right, it jumps over us every time. And uh, we have my grand, we have my great grandmother's house right in the middle. It has a basement, and every time our entire family's there, and we're just all there holding each other. All there's like a hundred people in that basement most of the time, and we've just been very blessed. It's jumped over us, but my people's not as fortunate, obviously. Um, so we're just. It's just something new that we're having to learn. We used to have little ones, and now they're getting bigger and bigger and more. So, oh, yeah, it's just crazy. Like the same one. Yes. In Dallas and Remington here, we encourage you to check out the heartfelt Gone with the Wind, including other 12 other singles that came out, like Mullet, yes. White Trash Heart, Steal Your Dad, Wicked Witch, Guilty. So much fun to dive into. Uh, check Dallas and Remington out on all of the streaming platforms and TikTok. Yes. We're doing things on TikTok. Go yes. check out the TikToks. Every day I have to post something on the TikTok. Yeah. Awesome. So here at the Backstage Pass, we'd love to do, because it's CRS, uh, we'd love to do a, a quick uh, rapid fire, is what we call it. Favorite place to eat in Nashville? I don't eat that a lot. I guess it's a candy. Okay, but what, what do you order at? What do you order at home? Um, what do you okay, actually, home? favorite place to eat at home. Okay. Yeah. They have the best food and the best live music. That's the only person that's yeah. that. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, guess all the money. He's, yeah, yeah, that so kitchen is cool. So I'm guessing you've heard Joe's Five Year Old song. Or you've heard Joe's Candy Country. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Diddy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Joe's Five Year Old. Oh, okay. So, cool. so he's recording yeah. uh, John Anderson. Love that. Yeah. 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 Okay, list all the instruments that you play. Um, or do play guitar, bass are my main two. I play piano, mandolin, violin, or fiddle, you know, um, drums. banjo, and drums. That's seven. And a little bit of harmonica, but I don't have the breast enough. I don't know how they do it. I'm like, how do you? Oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> I own one, but I'm learning. I own like a whole cat, like yeah. every key. Yeah. But no, I can't read that much. <laughs> uh, what is one state you are uh, looking forward to traveling to that you have never been to? Um, Alaska. Alaska. Yeah. Have you been to all the to all the other states? I have been. Pretty much. No. Okay. Um, I think I've, we added it up. I've been to thirty-five. Yeah. I knew it was a lot. So I've been to awesome. most of them, uh, but Alaska, Hawaii, and then all of the northeastern states. I miss all of them in Washington and Oregon. Okay, thirty-five states. Yeah. Such a busy, talented OG right here, <laughs> Dallas Remington on the backstage pass. We're here at CRS twenty. Omni Hotel. Stay tuned for more. We are live on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. So if you're watching this on the replay, just leave us a comment and say hi. All right. Thank you so much, Dallas. It was so nice to have you. Thanks for having me.